So today's kind of been just a chill day with the wife. Very much needed. Um, went out last night, had some fun, and today was just kind of a relax around the house day. But right now, she's finishing up a few things at the house. I'm down here with my buddy Keith. <laughs> Keith Kaufman. Um, obviously, we're going to talk Spurs because we're both big fans. And this is being lit currently by my cell phone and whatever we could find here in the venue. So, Keith, why are you a Spurs fan? Get asked that a lot. It all started uh, following national team soccer. I enjoyed that and uh, working at a country club here in town. Had a player who played for South Alabama. They get a lot of internationals. A uh, young, young man named Gareth Maben, <coughs> excuse me, Gareth Maben, okay. he's in the South Alabama Golf Hall of Fame. He and I were talking on the driving range, he's from Ballyclare, Northern Ireland. Okay. He and I were talking on the driving range, it was World Cup, uh, mm -hmm. it, the Italy, France here. Uh, yep. Is it Aiden Zidane? Yeah, yeah headbutt, so everything. The headbutt, just, the, just like the watching, moment heard around the just world. Just like watching Richarlison for Everton <laughs> over the weekend, but not quite that dramatic. Uh, but no, and he started talking about the local teams. Like, said, do you ever follow these players when they play on the, for England or yeah. in Germany and Italy? And I said, no. He said, well, I'm a Tottenham fan. Why don't you come over and watch with me sometime? I get go. the satellite feed. Now, this is back I 2006, was, yeah, I think that was. It was early, mid-2000s, so yeah, before two, most of the Scott 2006, I want to say. Yeah, so he actually paid for the satellite feed. Ooh. And, you know, I was in college. I just got out of college. Yeah. 6 a.m., let's drink beer, watch why not? Yeah, I'm down. So I got in then, just slowly kept up, and uh, lo and behold, it was during uh, at O'Daly's we had the meeting for the American Outlaws, mm -hmm. and three or four of us showed up and had a Spurs hat on. We're all like, we should probably be friends, and <laughs> we went from there. There you go. And the rest was history. And now we all get up every single weekend. And that's how the Mobile Spurs were born. Yep. And since the Mobile Spurs have been born, there's been other local clubs in the area. Absolutely. Um, so we've, we've had what, New Orleans? With New Orleans, the guys from New Orleans found us when mm -hmm. we first became official, and a couple of them used us as a reason to go to the casinos yeah. on Friday night, then drive over here on Saturday, drink okay. with us in the morning, grab a nice midday lunch at one of the restaurants here in town, and then go back to the casinos again, and then make their way home back to New Orleans on Sunday. Sure. So it took a little effort on their part, now they're in a full official yep. chapter. Um, We've got, I mean, as far as, far as Spurs go, they're the closest local group to us. There's also Tallahassee who's been yeah. formed for a while. Okay. Um, but also what we, the best part about this is we gave Mobile some place to go. That was always the biggest trouble is everyone can sit at home and that's really, we're sitting at home in our beds. You got your laptop here, you got your phone here, your TV here, you're streaming, you're chatting, you're in all these different message groups. And we figured, let's be people, let's all go watch this yeah. shit together. Be, be social, actually. Like, sit be like a, people. Sit, like, sit, be human. Yeah. Well, actual soccer fans, well, let's go sit in a pub and have some drinks and get rowdy with each other and, and talk yeah. smack when somebody from another, you know, uh, you know, team walks in and whatnot. Absolutely. And yeah. it's all, you know, gotta have some thick skin, but sure. at the end of the day, it's, Mobile's not a community where you can have, all right, the Spurs bar's here, like mm -hmm. Chicago. The Spurs bar is here, mm -hmm. the Arsenal bar is three blocks down, yeah. Chelsea's a mile this way, West Ham's two blocks mm -hmm. west. You yeah. don't get that opportunity. So what we want to do is, uh, with O'Daly's is give everyone a place to go, 21 and up of course, of course. and uh, just be inviting. Mm -hmm. And since then too, the first year we weren't sure what would happen and the first day there were 15 people I'd never seen before showed up mm -hmm. that I've slowly built a friendship with over the years and you know, it's... 90 minutes of pure hell for each other when we play. <laughs> and then, you know, when we're done, we'll rag on the other guy. And it's sure. all just, you know, fun and games, but we have a place now. And since then, people in the area are really getting into it more. We have uh, Chelsea fans who've yeah. never, you know, known each other and have always been at home watching. And now they put in the effort. They had some good numbers last year. And now they did their deal. And Chelsea in America now recognizes Chelsea. Um, Everton, there we go. yeah, the Gulf Coast Toffee. Just mm -hmm. a couple guys had a Twitter feed, <laughs> and uh, Everton saw that, and Everton USA saw that, and mm -hmm. they got in touch, and they had the numbers as well. So Everton's now an official club. There you go. 
you know, we're slowly growing, but we have supporters. West Ham, we have Leicester City, mm -hmm. we've got um, German teams, Borussia yeah, Dortmund, uh, say, know. Schalke. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, that's my your team, other team over my team yeah. over in uh, Deutschland, over in uh, Gesselkirchen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're we're showing all that as well, and you know, we'll, we'll even every now and then, ESPN will show the lower lower tier uh, German teams mm -hmm. in the German Super Cup. And we have a regular who's from Northeast Germany, and his team was playing, and we just we just went nuts. There like you what, go. what the hell? We have no idea what they're saying on the announcing feed, no. but we're gonna watch it. And but it sounds like they're angry and they're 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 excited, but all at the same exactly. Time. And it's all in good fun. And then again, we're all together, yeah. have some drinks first thing in the morning. People bring a coffee, some mm -hmm. you know, egg McMuffins and all that. And if you bring yeah. your bartender one, <clears throat> I always appreciate that. So, yeah, he that's, does, he that's, does, but he makes a very mean and very good Bloody Mary, so. Don't ask for anything more complicated. <laughs> no. But, hey, if you're in the area, definitely come down and watch some soccer with us. Saturday morning, Sunday morning sometimes, depending on who's all playing and what all else is going on. And now this Sunday, uh, whenever this if it is going this, up This soon, will be up tonight. Uh, perfect. So this Sunday, uh, we will open up because of the teams playing. Yep. We're going to have uh, the early match at 7 o'clock is Arsenal. Yep. Um, even though we're Spurs uh, Bar, you know, it's, we like I said, we got to welcome everybody. A couple guys in red never hurt anybody. I mean, they sure. eat babies, but we all know that Gooners <laughs> eat babies. So don't, that's why it's 21 Fact. up. Fact. And have you ever seen a Gooner not eat a baby? <laughs> Let's get over that. Um, but then at 10 o'clock, there's two matches. You have Manchester United looking to bounce back. After uh, Jose is going full year three on us, <laughs> and then Spurs will be playing Watford, yep. a surprising undefeated team as well yeah, so far this season. Yeah, that's been a little interesting. Um, they played some. They've been playing some good aggressive mm -hmm. ball, and you know it's curious to see where they're going to go. Is yeah. there going to be one of these teams that comes out strong and then burns out? Well, but I, I I think the match on Sunday is definitely going to be interesting to watch. And now that everybody. match that match is on NBC Gold. Mm -hmm. So uh, fortunately for us, the good folks at O'Daly's. Uh, decide to purchase that commercial subscription. Thank which you, they Matt. Have. So um, we'll have all the matches on. So come on down. And as we always say, it's early in the morning, so come see the sunrise with us. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys later. And we're going to go shoot another promo for something else because it's Sissoko.